Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The is. The gun is. <laughs> hey, where are the nether waterfalls? Look at these different colors here. Wow. Amazing. On our way to Neda Waterfalls, we found this beautiful bridge built by the ancient Greece, Greek people, just to transport some olives and beautiful women to the next city. But now we go to the waterfalls. Come on. After a hundred kilometer ride through the serpentines, you find the nether waterfalls in the deep valleys. A mystic place almost forgotten on the map of Greece. Watch out your car, the roads are getting steep here. Better come with the Suzuki. Millions of years, something from this amazing nature. But what could it be? Our friend Andreas is going to find it out. Yes, hey, tell us. I met Professor Dr. Yanis here and he will tell us a little bit about this crazy formation of that rock here which uh, hey, is just spectacular I would say and uh, I'm asking myself how is this possible? Can you tell me? Of course! In Greece we have 12 gods and 12 gods get together and they form this magnificent waterfall right here. I mean, Hey. Uh, look at this. Oh my goodness. You feel the energy here? Hallelujah. Viene qua il tuo calitero. Elada. Ela elada. What do you think? How many years is, uh, is this old? Since the earth was here. Since the earth? Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> here? Ah, the gods are singing. Wow, what an adventure today! Wow, these mountains are unbelievable, and these uh, springs, Lutras, are uh, so cold, man. My heart was standing still for one second, but we survived that. Oh, a little bee is joining us here. And uh, yeah, we learned a lot of stuff today. Um, it's not even the botanic sometimes which creates uh, the nature and the, uh, the structures. Even and also the gods are doing this. Uh, yeah, I wonder how it was back in the days, but... Uh, like Lincoln Park said, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Florales. The 
only growing in this little area of Pinipolis. You only can find this flower here. In the whole history of Abenteuer Botanik, as you can see the little footsteps here, guess what could it be? Oh yes, our lovely friend, the turtle. You know where it's going. It's a long way, but very soon it will find its own habitat. This is the turtle nest. Here it's starting his life. Maybe there are still some turtles inside. We will have a look later. But here now we can see it's protected. It's nearly died out in this on this planet. So it's very good to protect it. And we all will help that this is going in the right direction. So be careful at the beach and don't throw your rubbish, don't dig after gold or whatever. The gold is in the, in the eyes of these little turtles. Caretta Caretta is one of the three last turtle families in the Mediterranean Sea. Between June and August, this fellas laying their eggs exactly on the same spot where they have been born as well. That is why it is so important to protect these animals. If you look closer, you can see the track of the mother turtle in the sand, who struggled back into the ocean until she comes back next year. Only one of 1000 turtles will make it until it dies a natural way. Hey, you can do it, little friends. Pame, pame. Now this turtle will way. This turtle knows what's going on. It's already swimming. Oh, beautiful. We wish the turtle a long and strong life. And say, uh, Calimera. Calispera. In the middle of nowhere, we found this beautiful horses. The southern 
Telepones horses are used to be friendly, maybe eat some figs around and just walk from here to there. Yasu! Kalispera! Tikanis! Ah! Just sneaking around. Hey. No one cares. And ciao! People, in our daily lives, we get in so much trouble and stress. But not here, not today, not at all. So let's relax together to have a beautiful look in this environment of water botanic. Everyone thinks, ah, oh, sheep is just cotton, but no, or the Greeks say, oh, he, it's more than that. It's a friend of all time of your life, if you want. All these animals need some love, so we will give them a little. Hey, hey, my friend, my friend. It's a dream. It's a dream which come true. Look at all those beautiful rocks. Some smart farmers around here who just came with the right idea in the right moment to put all these bee boxes around this, ah, I would say, environmental wonderland. We have the southern Peliponese bee, honey bee. There's a big difference between all these flying bees because these guys lose their lives if they stitch you and the wasp do it again and again to just annoy you. So be friendly to these bees and they will let you Stay in peace, okay? They are just here to collect some honey and to keep the environment alive. Go to the local farmers, buy the local honey and everything will be okay. at this, my happy little botanic fr uh, friends. Was it a goat or a sheep? No one knows. Maybe a little dinosaur from really back in the days. Ah. I will ask my friend Dr. Stevens about that because he is archaeological master brain of our little happy botanic family. Let's bring it back to the laboratory, find out what it what really was. It was. Hmm? Hello from me, I'm Dr. Stevens and I'm Professor of Archaeology and Biology of the University of Massachusetts. So today we're examining this piece from Peloponnes. I think it's a bone, but I'm not sure yet. I'll examine it right now. So. I have my examining device 
and my calculating device. So let's see what this piece is on. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. Hmm. Whoa. That's interesting. Well, that's very interesting. I see here. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. So this bone belongs to a goat. But it was a very special goat because it had some. Hmm. Hmm. I think it had some issues with bread and cereals. Yeah, she couldn't eat so much bread and cereals. So let's see here. So my calculating device, I'll show you here right now. Okay, we're done with this stuff. So, the calculating device shows us here that it was a herbivore. This green belongs to herbivores. And these two are her last meal she ate and she was eating lemons and oranges, maybe carrots. So right here we saw she, she had some small babies. This is a small baby goat. It was at the peak of its lifespan. And its last meal was also only a carrot because maybe it was drinking milk from its mother. So it didn't eat any other foods. Maybe it started eating only carrots. We have a low percentage of carrots inside the bones of the mother goat. I hope I help you somehow uh, with this uh, interesting uh, uh, piece of bone. Uh, yeah, and I'm waiting for some more bones to examine also. I'll be very happy helping you, my friend. Goodbye from me. After a very, very long drive uh, on the great ocean road of Greece, down to the second leg of Peloponnese, ah, we found this beautiful paradise here. And we have a big surprise for you, guys. You know, everything is so simple here. Sailing, diving, Enjoying Guys Don't be shocked, but this is a ghost ship Let's check it out Built in the 50s escaped in the 80s and it was just parking here next to the beach and the storm took it away, as I said. The friendly and funny thing is, it just came back in the same direction and was sleeping. So, if we want to go inside, guys, just follow me. The name of this rusty vessel is Dimitris, an old ship for transporting tobacco and wine. An old man in the taverna next to the beach told me this place is haunted by the ghosts of the old crew. They had to burn some evidences which were belonging to the local mafia back in the days. We really can see the nature strikes back here and transforms a new world for under and over water botanic. What a nice day here in Gipio, in southern Greece. We had a beautiful day with Dimitris here and we hope the turtles, which were laying down here by their mothers, will have a 
beautiful life and don't get in trouble in the waves of Dimitris here. Now it's time to say Yassas and Talemski. Πάλι εχθές που μαλώσαμε μη πες αλήτη Μου είπες μάζευτα δε σε θέλω φύγει απ' το σπίτι Αν το κάνεις από ζήλια δε με νοιάζει Αν με διώχνεις για έναν άλλον τι μ' αρέσει Όταν με χάσεις τότε πια θα με ζητήσεις Αλήτης αν και εμένα ναι δεν θα ξαναγαπήσεις 